frozen time The bar is almost empty It's me, the bartender And the piano man The last call for alcohol Has come and gone Hey buddy, time to go home Sounds like a master plan The night is warm and quiet I hear the neon signs and the street lights buzz The lovers, the one night stands And the ones who buy it Have all put to rest one more day's fuss Wondering what we're building yet? Well, that's a surprise. We got a surprise project for a surprise person. And to be honest with you, it's kind of a promotional thing, but it's a good time to do it. Started very late out here tonight. Didn't get home from work until a little bit later, so didn't get a lot. Didn't really get much done, but they get some stuff straightened out and all that good stuff. But we're making another draw night, but this time we're making a smaller one for like axe handles and things like that. And I really like that handle design on the last one. I really, really like it. I actually, it was a lot more controlled than I thought it would be in the angle of those handles. It's actually very comfortable to use. But we're going to make another one. This little coal force does a very good job. I'm very happy with the way this worked out. There you go, that's a little more like it. Now right now I'm just trying to get laid out where the handles are.
watching a watch just uh, yeah. It's like watching a pot of water waiting for it to boil. I kind of like to have the steel where I can see the color of it while it's in the fire. Well, you can get it just like that. You can get it real hot, real fast. shape starting to come through. I'm going to try to get that middle a little bit. Pretty well have the reins drawn out. We want to work on this edge. Now what I like to do get close to the edge of the anvil and then kind of hit back like this. So we go. Nope. Now you can tell when you don't quite have enough heat. sounds very different. Doesn't sound quite right when you're hitting it. You don't get that. You get kind of a louder bang on it when it's good and hot. Kind of plastic to move. It, uh, it sounds a lot softer. When you start to bevel this out and you go to tap it straight again, I find that I really have to pay attention to make sure that I'm flat on there, otherwise, otherwise I get twisted on it, and then I get all irritated, and then I go in and cry a little bit, because I have a heck of a time straightening out a good twist. So we're just going to keep drawing that edge out and get it down this way. This is a 10 inch knife here. I want to get this corner moved out a little bit more also. That way it's a little more, I don't have such a, I don't want a goofy angle when I go to grind this edge in it.
Alright, now we're going to do a normalizing cycle. I've got it pretty well roughed out where I want to, forge-wise anyway. So now I've got to get the get it above magnetic, especially where the cutting edge is. And you can either use a magnet or you can try to go, there are some color charts you can find online. So to get it above magnetic, I've got to get it above 1425 degrees. So I'm looking for a bit of a brighter orange glow on it. And if I'm wrong here, anybody who does this every day, please correct me. Feel free. Go ahead and correct me in the comments. I do not know everything. So normalizing cycle, I want to get this above magnetic, and then I want to let it air cool. problem I'm going to have out here tonight, it's probably about 30 degrees, and it may cool it just a little too quick. But after we do this, we're going to do an annealing cycle, which we're not going to do tonight. I'll hit that. Uh, we'll see what the rain brings tomorrow night. But anyway, when we go to anneal it, we're going to get it up above magnetic again, but then we're going to pack it in vermiculite and let it cool really slowly. Really, you're not supposed to let it cool more than I think it's 50 degrees an hour, I believe. I could be wrong, but I, I'm pretty sure that's the figure. That's kind of hard to do any way you go. So what we may end up doing, we may end up heating a couple of other pieces with it to get, make it a little bit thicker and then bury it in vermiculite and see what happens. The problem I'm going to have here, just like with the other cutting edge, is getting that fire spread out enough get it. Get the whole thing in. I mean, it can be done, that's for sure. Wow, it's hot. Dang. to build the main forge in here what I'm going to do is probably make it a double blower setup so when I get into doing longer pieces it's not as big a deal and right now I'm getting to the point with this anthracite we're down in the bottom of the pot the coal's getting really fine as it breaks down so, We can find the hot spot here. Yeah, stuff just once you start getting down there a little bit, the, the fire does get a little bit harder to manage. You gotta kind of work it a little bit differently. I try to spread it out and then kind of direct. I kind of try to tend the fire to direct the uh, airflow through the coal more around the blade. And I do that just by kind of putting some raw coal, packing it around the outside to kind of see how it makes that fire a little bit longer. Again, if somebody else has a better way, please feel free to share. You're not going to hurt my feelings. Wow, it's 12.30 at night. It is time for me to go to bed. i got to work in the morning. But anyway, definitely need a bigger forge for doing this stuff, but we can get through all right right now. So all I do end of the night, I'm just going to bury this fire. Kind of smother it out. Let it break up. pretty well go out on its own. 
before I go to sleep, I'll probably come back out here, check it. So I'm just going to set this aside, let it do its thing. You guys see how fast that dies out when you smother it like that? It does not take much. Thanks for watching guys. Uh, this one won't take us too long to do. It's a lot smaller. Should be a lot easier to grind. And uh, like I said, it's kind of going to... Uh, it's going somewhere. You guys will find out when the time comes where it ends up. So have a good night everybody. I'll catch you on the next one.